Going to have a look at workflow within uh, GP 2018. This has been enhanced again over the, the particular versions and it's workflow version 4 in GP 2018. New workflows have been added in, such as GL account and purchase invoice workflows. And also timesheets and expenses workflows have been added, added into uh, the, <clears throat> the projects module. So if you're putting in timesheets or you, your users are putting in timesheets and expenses, those are able to be seen and, and work through workflow to be approved by the management. So how does that work? Let's go and have a look. It's linked up to Active Directory. So if I go into, actually here I am within purchasing, within my capital printed circuits, I have a workflow item here. If I change something within uh, the system, that can be submitted to workflow for approval. We can also view the history as it goes through the approval. We can view who's got it, who we're waiting for approval. And until it's fully approved, uh, we can't do anything with that supplier. We have a view within the system to view vendors that are pending approval. If I just go into the vend vendors pending approval list, up it comes. And I've got those four suppliers there, pending approval. It's pending approval action. Uh, this one, the three of them, uh, Angela Barnes, and one is multiple uh, users, which would be myself and Angela Barnes. So there's obviously rules going on behind here that tell the system who the, the workflow uh, has got to go to, who's got to approve these items. Let's go and have a look at how we set up those rules. So if we go to the admin area of Dynamics GP and we go to Workflow Setup within the company database. Here's a list of all the workflows that we're able to look at. So I'm in Purchasing, but you'll see is workflows available for financial sales, uh, purchasing, project administration. So there's your timesheet and expense approvals as well. So let's go back into purchasing. We'll go to the vendor approval one, purchase verification. So the rules that I've set up here are all new suppliers that come onto the system. The workflow should always run and it should assign it to Angela Barnes and myself for approval. We have eight hours to approve it by. Um, applying the workflow calendar, so if it's over the weekend, it doesn't enforce the eight hour time limit, it's eight hours of working time. It'll send us a reminder within four hours and uh, it'll send us a message set up as the vendor approval message. You can also see that if the bank details change, then only I get notification. So if I go into this particular rule, I can see the action is required only when the following condition is met. When the electronic funds transfer master bank account is not equal to the, the bank account that was there. So here you set up the rules. And in this case, it's got to go to myself for approval. And the message that gets sent is, would say you have a task assigned for vendor capital printed circuits. You've been assigned a task uh, of purchase verification for this supplier. Here's your deadline. Uh, there's a drill down for me from the email to be able to edit or view the record. It's got an action list and any comments that are put against it by the person who actually amended the field. So I get the email, I'm able to drill down and I'm able to approve that transaction.
the workflow another handy item that's been put into GP 2018 to help uh, usage of the system uh, and audits, auditability of who's approving changes to the, to the system. Thank you.